Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to install your own domain certificate on a Cisco wireless LAN controller. Okay, so in order to do this, you're going to need several things. Um, one, of course, is a file transfer protocol, whether it's TFTP, FTP. In this case, I'm going to use a secure FTP. You're going to need a subordinate uh, CA that's capable of issuing certificates from certificate sign requests. And you're also going to need OpenSSL to convert one file format into another. Okay. So to begin, I'm going to go over to my wireless LAN controller. Oh, and actually, before I even start that, I want to show you, before I begin, here is that the certificate that is currently installed on the wireless LAN controller is the MIC, or the manufacturer installed wireless LAN controller. You can see that it's been issued by Cisco and has all the details in that certificate. All right. So I want to change this so that my domain certificate is installed in the wireless LAN controller and I also don't get any certificate errors as well or saying that uh, this certificate is invalid. Okay. So to begin I'm going to create a certificate sign request, generate, and this is the option I'm looking for right here, certificate sign request, web admin, and here it's going to ask for all the details uh, to include in my certificate. So go ahead and start typing those in, country, state, city. Uh, organizational units, just go ahead and put XYZ, uh, department, NE, common name, I'll type in the fully qualified domain name of my wireless LAN controller, and then finally it's going to ask for the email address, and I'll just put XYZ, company XYZ, and localmail.com. It displays my certificate to the terminal. I'm going to copy that. And then I'm going to go over to my subordinate CA. I'm going to open up IIS. And I'm going to drill down to where it says search server. Open that up. Click on Request Certificate. Click on Advanced Certificates. I'm going to select this second option right here. Paste in the certificate. And click on Web Server. I'm going to download in the Base64 in encoding. And click Download Certificate Chain. When we download this, we see that it is in this P7B, or has this P7B file extension right here. So normally when you download a certificate, if you download just a single certificate you would have, uh, and you are issuing this from an MS server, you would just see the .cer extension. But in this case, this is a certificate that contains multiple certificates. All right. It has the identity certificate, which if we open that up, you can see the subject and what I included in my certificate sign request. Okay. There is also my uh, subordinate CA. And then here's my root CA. Now, if the problem with this certificate 
Um, it, well, there really isn't a problem with it, but it, it's a problem for the wireless LAN controller. Is that if we open this up, we can see that basically it looks, you know, you can see that here's the beginning of the certificate and here's the ending of the certificate. So this certificate chain is basically being um, uh, defined as, you know, just as one certificate. And the wireless LAN controller expects to see the, the full chain. So it expects to see uh, three certificates in one file. And in this particular file, we only see one um, certificate. So we need to change this. Okay. So I'll go ahead and just rename that wireless LAN controller. And in order to do this, I need to go over to my Linux box where I have OpenSSL installed. And I'm going to make a directory called CA. And in that directory, I'll create two subdirectories, one for P7B and the other for PEM. All right. I'm going to take that oops, certificate that was downloaded. And transfer it over to my P7B directory. And I'm going to use the PKCS7 tool and say print. And what this is going to do. All right, because we're working with the with that um, file extension um, P7B, basically this is going to, in a sense, kind of rip apart that certificate so that you can see all of the certificates that are actually in that single file. Okay, so that is located in the directory root CA P7B, and then the file is wsc.p7b, and I'll go ahead and output that to the directory root ca pem, and I'll just call it uh, p or wireless LAN controller um, cert.pem. Okay. So now, if I look at that certificate. Root CA, PEM, and wireless LAN controller, I can see, let's see here, three certificates. And let me actually display that a little bit better. Okay. So you can see that there is the identity certificate. There is the subordinate certificate. And here's the root certificate. Okay. So I'm going to transfer that over. See, I'll put it in my my share. And I'm going to take this file and transfer it into my file transfer protocol, which in this case is SFTP. All right, going back over to the wireless LAN controller, now I need to start issuing some transfer commands. So transfer, download mode, and here you can select your download, download mode. I'm going to select SFTP. You need 
to specify the data type, which in this case is web admin cert. We need to specify the server IP address, which in my case is dot two. Specify the absolute path, which is, and I'm just going to put a forward slash because this is in my root directory. And then finally, I need to issue the uh, file name, which is wlc dot cert dot pen okay and I can start the transfer you can look over everything looks good hit yes it's starting certificate was installed and now I need to reboot so I'll click save or hit save, config, yes, and I will reset, oops, one second, reset the wireless LAN controller. Okay, it's going to restart. Now this is going to take a little bit of time. I think it's going to take about three minutes actually. So while that's um, doing that, if you had any problems with the transfer, okay, one of the things that you can look at to see you know, depending on how you are actually doing this, is you can look to see whether or not the device certificate, the intermediate certificate, and the root certificate are lined up correctly, because the order is important. It has to go this way. Okay. When you are doing the transfer, there's two debug commands that you can use. Okay. You can say transfer, debug, all, enable, and transfer PM, PKI, enable. And, that's, and then once you actually issue the uh, transfer download start command, um, you should be able to see some debug output that hopefully gives you a hint as to what's going on if you're experiencing any problems. One example that I had was when I saw that there was actually a password in the configuration and I hadn't typed in that password, but it could have been there from, you know, uh, a previous configuration or something and um, basically just issuing clear transfer uh, clears all that um, information out and it allows you to start fresh again. And if that doesn't work and you're having problems, um, one final thing that you can try is the config certificate uh, use device certificate admin. And what uh, this is going to do is basically reinstall the, uh, the MIC or the manufacturer installed certificate because What's essentially happening when you generate that certificate sign request is that it's flushing the uh, previous certificate that was in, in, in the wireless LAN controller. So when you're having, um, if you are having, uh, you know, problems transferring the certificate to the wireless LAN controller or installation issues, well, then you're not going to be able to access the web interface because there will not be any certificate on the wireless LAN controller. So basically, 
reissuing this um, or issuing this command config certificate use device certificate web admin will um, will Joe will we'll put that mic back on there and then you just um, type yes and save the configuration reboot it and then you'll be able to get back into um, back into the web interface okay so it looks like my wireless LAN controller is back up. And I will browse to it. And I can see that I do have the, the lock there. And I can see that it is has been, uh, that there is my uh, subordinate CA there's my device certificate that has all of the details that I included in the certificate sign request. Uh, I'll open up Firefox, see if I can navigate it to by Firefox, wireless line controller .section .local. And in this case, it's giving me an error. Okay, so why is it giving me this error? Well, the reason for that is because I do not have the subordinate CA certificate installed in the Firefox web browser. So if you click on Options, click on Privacy, and you scroll all the way down to View Certificates. You can import a certificate, and there is my subordinate CA. I click Open. Do you want to trust MSCA or MS16 for the following purposes? Yes, I do. I'll click OK. Click OK again. And I will exit back out of that and open it back up. Wireless LAN controller. And there I get the lock. OK. So hopefully this has been helpful, and that's how you uh, install certificates into the wireless LAN controller. Have a good day.